Hi guys! Welcome to our YouTube channel. For today, we will discuss about different blinking LED patterns in Arduino. Tara, let's start! Before we start, we need some materials to do our project. First, we need the Arduino Uno, jumper wires, breadboard, and siyempre si LED. The next thing we need to do is to create a circuit diagram para ma-plot natin yung wires and LEDs na gagamitin natin for Arduino project. Now that we are all set, let's start to code. First thing, kailangan familiar ka with the array and for loop of C language. Lahat nung gagamitin mong for loop with your Arduino project is almost the same with other programming languages like C and Java. We need to declare variable kung saan mo ilalagay yung digital pins na meron ka with your Arduino. So, I created LED pin. Then, based doon sa circuit diagram, we have 9 LED. So, we need to declare the size of our array into 9. Declare tayo ng constant value with our array. Lahat ng pin na connected, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, which is yung mga pins natin, i-declare natin with our array. We need to declare also, i, int i, equals to 0. Now, si i yung gagamitin natin sa for loop natin. Kasi hindi na tayo gagamit ng manual method na lagi mong i-declare yung digital write. Ang gagawin natin, i-declare lang natin one time si digital write using for loop. Now, we need to set the pin mode of our LED. As we all know, we have two types of pin mode. Number one will be the output. Pag sinabi mong output, magdi-display lang siya. Best example ng output is si LED. LED, 7 segment, yan. Then, the other kind is input. Which is, pag sinabi mong input yung pin mode mo, ang mangyayari is siya yung kukuha ng value or mag input ka ng value sa loob para makuha ni Arduino. For the pin mode, we need to set the for loop. So, for i is equals to 0, i is less than 9, then i plus plus. Laging tandaan, pag for loop, we have 3 parts. Initialization, incrementation, then si condition. Now, sa loob ni for loop, pin mode. Pin mode, we need to declare the LED pin. LED pin I, then output. The next thing we need to do is to display a simple light on our LED. For I is equals to 0. I is less than 9, then I plus plus. Sa loob ng for loop sa void loop, lagay tayo ng digital right. LED pins natin, which is si LED pin, with the index I and high. Now, there are two types. First is the high. Pag si digital right mo is high, meaning nun, mag-on siya. Pag naka-low, mag-off. So for now, we will try to lighten up those LED na nilagay natin dun sa ating breadboard. Now, uploading. Yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, umilaw na yung LED natin. So try naman natin siyang gawing naka-low. Pag naka-low siya, ang mangyayari is mamamatay lahat ng LED. si namatay siya. Ang next na gagawin natin is tatry nating i-blink lahat ng ilaw simultaneously. Now, kailangan lang natin magdagdag ng panibagong for loop para magawa natin yan. For i equals to 0 i is less than to 9 and i plus plus. Sa loob ng pangalawang for loop, maglalagay tayo ng digital right. Then, between those for loops, maglalagay tayo ng delay. 
So, delay 500. At, syempre, sa dulo nung last na for loop. Delay 500. Now, para saan ba si delay? Yung nagamit mo si delay kapag gusto mong lagyan ng pause between two for loops or two functions na dadaanan nung program natin sa void loop. So, ang mangyayari dyan, iilaw si led sabay-sabay, magpo-pause, maglulow siya, or mamamatay lahat ng ilaw sabay-sabay, then magde-delay siya. Magde-delay siya ng 5 milliseconds. Then, babalik ulit siya dun sa unang instance niya, which is yung mag siya. So, try natin. Kung mapapansin nyo, nagbi-blink na yung LED natin. Ang next na gagawin nating LED pattern is si running lights. Ang gagawin natin with the running lights, ia adjust lang natin yung delay na meron tayo with our blinking lights. So, kanina sa blinking lights, nasa labas siya ng for loop. Ngayon, ipapasok natin sa loob. So, lagay tayo. Tanggalin muna natin yung dalawang delay. Then, lagay tayo ng delay sa loob nung dalawang for loop. Delay 100. Then, delay 100. Now, kung isa-simulate natin yung program, ang gagawin nung dalawang for loop is i-display pa rin yung ilaw. Pero, paisa-isa na. For example, sa unang for loop, ganun pa rin, mag ka pa rin. Pero, hindi ka tulad ganina na after nung for loop, tsaka lang siya magde-delay. Sa for loop na meron tayo ngayon, pagka-high niya, magde-delay siya. So, meaning, hindi na sabay-sabay. Paisa-isa na lang yung pag-ilaw nung LED natin. Now, pag nagpa-ilaw na lahat, na-set na yung condition, 9 times nang umilaw yung LED, ang next thing na mangyayari is babato na sa for loop na pangalawa. So, for loop na pangalawa, ang gagawin naman niya is same with the first loop, but the difference is, papatay niya na yung ilaw from index 0 to index 9. So, ang itsura niyan is ganito. Our next pattern will be running lights pa rin, pero version 2. Parang lumilipat yung ilaw sa LED from one LED to another. So, let's try so, ang gagawin natin is we need to adjust ulit yung for loop that we have on our void loop. Okay, titira muna natin yung digital right. Ang gagawin natin, iilaw yung LED, mamamatay, lilipat sa kabila. Digital right, lagay tayo ng delay, 100. Then, lagay tayo ulit ng digital right sa loob ng for loop. Yung si LED pin ay tapos ilulow natin. Next. Delay 100. So, pag niran mo yung program, ang mangyayari is iilaw siya pa isa-isa or para siyang alternate lights. Iilaw yung isang LED, mamamatay. Iilaw yung kabila. Ang next thing na gagawin natin is pabalik. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung ilaw sa LED is from left to right. Ang gagawin natin ngayon, pabalik naman, from right to left. So, ang gagawin natin, magdadagdag tayo ng panibagong for loop. For i is equals to 9. Kasi yung value or last value sa right side ng for loop or ng LED natin is C9. Then, i is greater than equal to 0. So, ang gagawin natin, yung 9, ibababa natin papunta kay 0 using decrementation or i minus minus. Naset mo na yung for loop mo. Lagay mo na ulit si digital right. Let in index i. Then high. Delay. 100. Then, digital right. Red pin. Index I. Low. Then, delay. 100. 
na ang mangyayari dyan, iilaw siya from left to right, alternate light, or running light na alternate, Pag dumating na siya dun sa point na ang index niya or ang last index value is 8, iilaw ngayon or pupunta na siya sa pangalawang for loop. Sa pangalawang for loop, yan, i-decrement niya na si 8 papalik kay 0. Habang dinidecrement niya, pinapailaw niya yung lead which is high and low. Kung mapapansin, bumabalik na siya or para na siyang bouncing para na siyang nagbabounce na ilaw at the same time alternate yung palit ng ilaw for the last pattern or we will try the pattern of add even so pag sinabi natin add even dun sa circuit diagram mo meron kang lead sham na lead so ang gagawin natin is si 1, 3, 5 si 2, 4, 6, and 8 yung papailawin natin so, let's try. Ang first thing na gagawin natin, isiset natin yung for loop na meron tayo. Then, instead na I++, ang gagamitin natin in incrementation will be I plus equals to 2. So, ang mangyayari, mag increment siya by 2's. So, I, meron kang I equals to 0. Pag na-supply niya yung code dun sa loob ng for loop, mag increment siya by 2. So, papasok na si 2. 0, 2, then yung kasunod, 4, 6, and 8. Try natin. Digital right. Lead. Lead pin. Index i. Hi. Lalabas na natin si delete. Kasi, para sabay-sabay yung pag-ilaw ng mga numbers or ng mga lead. Ang next na gagawin natin is, i-off naman natin sila. So, pag i-off mo siya, ganun din yung gagawin mo. I equals to 0. I is less than 9. Then, incrementation mo, I plus equals to 2. Sa so, unang for loop, nag tayo. Sa pangalawang for loop, maglo ka na. Digital, write, red pin, index i, then low. Tapos, delay. 500 alat. Now, pag niran natin yung program, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang umiilaw lang is yung index 0, index 2, index 4, index 6, at index 8. Ngayon, ang next na gagawin natin is papailawin natin si index 1, index 3, index 5, index 7, and index 9. Para palitan yung magiging output niya. Iilaw yung even numbers or index na even numbers tapos iilaw din yung add na index numbers. So, sa code, dagdag ulit tayo ng panibagong for loop. For i is equals to 1. So, bakit mo siya ginawang 1? Kasi mag start na yung next na for loop mo sa add numbers. Which is index 1, index 3, index 5, 7, and 9. Next, yung condition mo will be the same. Then, Incrementation will be the same. Wala ka nang babaguhin doon. By 2 yung gusto mong gawin. So, nakaset, nakaset na yung initial value ng i mo into 1. So, mag-add na lang siya na mag-add by 2. Sa loob ng for loop, oh, lagay ka ulit na digital right red pin index i comma high then delay o, ang gagawin mo na ngayon dyan papailawin mo yung index even numbers which is nag start kay 0 0 to 4, 6 and 8 second loop mo i-off mo yun 
yung 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. For your third loop, papailawin mo na yung add numbers na meron ka with your index. Si 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Yung last mo, na for loop, i-off mo na yung add numbers na inon mo with your third loop. For i equals to 1, i is less than 9, and i is equals to 2. Kung mapapansin, parehas pa rin siya with the third loop. Ang difference lang is nilo mo siya. Digital right, lead pin, ay tapos low ka. Then, lagay natin yung plus na delete. Now, pag niran mo yung program, ganito yung magiging itsura niya. Iilaw yung even numbers, mamamatay. Iilaw yung add numbers, then mamamatay. Pwede nyo pagsamasamahin lahat ng patterns mo in one program. Pag pinagsama-sama mo siya, Ganito yung magiging itsura ng pattern mo. If you want to check yung code na pinagsama-sama ko na yung apat, ilalagay ko sa description yung GitHub account ko na kung saan doon ko ina-upload yung mga ibang projects na ginagawa ko. So please like, share, and subscribe to our videos. And also, I want to thank uh, Web Raoon Clothing for the t-shirts that we have, that I have. So, binigay nila sa akin to. If you want to avail those t-shirts, available yun sa Facebook page nila. Pwede nyo tignan. Very responsive naman yung admin page. PPM kayo agad na. Dito ko natatapusin yung vlog. I hope tatuto kayo sa different types ng LED blinking patterns na tinuro ko. Actually, marami pa yan. Kung lalaroin mo lang yung delay doon sa for loop mo, marami ka pang magagawang output. Kaya yan yung ginawa ko kasi usually ganyan yung pinapagawa ko sa mga students ko. Hindi lang yung pagkikreate mo ng circuit diagram yung may enhance mo dyan, but the logic itself. Yung logic kung paano mo magagawa yung isang for loop na mapapailaw mo yung pattern ng LED. So, malaking bagay yun para matuto ka. So, thank you guys. And enjoy.